Doug Jones, who has already once voted against the Pain Capable Act, and for those of you that are unfamiliar with the legislation of the Pain Capable Act, it's legislation that is designed to protect children on a federal level after 20 weeks. So when it comes to this after 20 weeks, because we know for a fact the science is, is already clear on this, the nervous system is developed enough to where the babies living inside the womb can feel pain after five months. I think I said five weeks. I meant five, five months. Sorry. I want to clarify that. After five months, the, the neurological system is sophisticated enough to feel pain. And so because of that, that's the, the measure that they want to use now at the federal level to ban it for any child that can feel pain. Now, there is some debate as to whether or not a child can feel pain before that, and, and that's because it's very hard to scan the, uh, the brain or the nervous system before then, because you're you're basically having to X-ray two or uh, MRI two people at that point, so it's it's very difficult to tell if they can feel pain before that. But we know for a fact there is proof that they can feel it from five months and beyond. And so this bill would specifically deal with this. Doug Jones has already voted against it once, and a different version of it has come up again. And a reporter asked him a simple question: Do you believe that abortion after five months should be banned? And I want you to see his reaction to that question. Senator, how are you? Do you think do you think abortion should be banned after five months? What stupid question have you got? Do you think abortion should be banned after five months? Sir, should abortion be banned? As I said, what a stupid. You're voting on it next week, sir. Yeah, and I'll vote on it next week, just like I did the last week. All right, so Senator Doug Jones, look, they don't call him Abortion Jones for nothing. Senator Jones gets uh, this reporter, I guess, walks up to him and ask a very simple question. Would you ban abortion after five months? Do you think abortion should be banned after five months? Now, I want you to think about this. Jones is so pro-abortion. He is so hardcore in favor of abortion on demand anytime, anywhere, for any reason that he thinks it's laughable that anybody would suggest that there be any limits on abortion. The truth is, Jones does get something right in that particular exchange. It is a stupid question. And the journalist, I mean, he probably knew what response he was going to get. But it is a stupid question because, as my dad said, who was a teacher for a long time and got asked a lot of stupid questions, <laughs> the only stupid question is the one that you should already know the answer to. And so Jones is 100% right. That is a dumb question. And it is a dumb question because Jones is a radical when it comes to abortion. And so we all knew that he was going to vote for it anyway. But I want you to think about this because he not only thinks it's a stupid question, he's laughing at it. To him, it is hysterical that anybody would even suggest that he might consider putting some limit on abortion at the federal level. And to put this into perspective, right now, currently... According to the most recent poll that was done on this, only 13% of Americans actually believe that late-term abortions, abortions done in the third trimester, which would be banned under this proposal, should take place. So Doug Jones is in the extreme minority on this. Only 13% of Americans agree with Doug Jones' position on this. And America is one of only six countries in the entire world that has no restrictions on abortion at the federal level. None. Up until the point of birth, an abortion can take place at any point in that window. Only six other nations in the world are that radical. And by the way, some of the ones that allow abortion up to that point are China and North Korea. We're not exactly in great company there. But somehow, we're supposed to believe that Doug Jones is a moderate. That, oh no, he, he's a blue dog Democrat. He's not some crazy leftist. He's not uber left. He's not somebody that just toes the line with Chuck Schumer. No, he, he's a moderate. No, I'd call that pretty dang radical. That 87% of Americans disagree with your abortion stance. And that only six other countries in the entire world have the same stance on abortion that you do. That, by definition, is pretty radical. You're in the extreme minority on that. 
And Doug Jones is so set on that that he thinks it's funny that anybody would even suggest that he is not. That's who Doug Jones is. So whenever one of your Democrat friends or neighbors tries to tell you, hey, Doug Jones, no, he, he's a moderate. He's a blue dog. He, he's not one of these crazy radicals. He, he's not an AOC or something like that. Well, I don't know if he is on abortion or on economic policy or some other things, even though his, his voting record is really pretty abysmal when it comes to stuff like that. But on abortion, he's one of the most radical people in the country. There are very few people that are as pro-abortion as Doug Jones. Keep that in mind when it comes time to vote. Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman, so now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, woke brigade.